Welcome to Amusing Learn. Get ready to dive into a world of interesting, random facts with the Random Facts series. Facts 1. The first alarm clock was invented way back in 1787. It was created by a man named Levi Hutchins, a clockmaker from New Hampshire, and it was called the Hutchinson's clock. He only made this clock for himself, and it only rang at 4 a.m. This model used a set of gears to hit two bells at a specific time. In 1847, French inventor Antoine Redier patented an adjustable mechanical alarm clock. It was the first alarm clock able to be adjusted to different times. This model used two tiny hammers that struck a bell when the user set the desired time. It's incredible to think that this simple device has evolved into what we know today, an essential part of almost everyone's daily routine. From having just one set ringing time in 1787, now we can set any time we want and even multiple alarms on our smartphones. Facts 2. The United States pays Cuba rent for the use of Guantanamo Bay, but Cuba does not accept the payment. The U.S. began leasing the land from Cuba in 1903 for $2,000 a year, which today is about $4,085 per month. The agreement was made between Cuba and the U.S but was never ratified by Congress or formally approved by any Cuban government. Since then, America has continued to pay Cuba rent every year, yet they have refused to cash the checks since 1959 when Fidel Castro took power. The Cuban government says that they cannot accept the money without violating their sovereignty and dignity as an independent nation. They view it as a debt or compensation and believe that the base should be returned to them without any financial exchanges taking place. The Americans do not agree with this and believe that they are still rightfully leasing the property under their original agreement, with no obligation to return it back to Cuba as long as they continue paying rent. Facts 3. When George H. W. Bush was president, he had a bit of a feud with broccoli. He famously declared that he hated the vegetable and banned it from Air Force One as well as the White House kitchens. While this may have been an unpopular decision, it didn't come as much of a surprise given his history with broccoli. Bush had disliked broccoli ever since he was in elementary school, and once stated that if there were any vegetables on the menu at a state dinner, it wouldn't be broccoli. He preferred other vegetables such as carrots, corn and cauliflower to the point where broccoli wasn't even served at any of his official dinners. Even though Bush's dislike of broccoli was well known among Washington insiders and foodies, it wasn't until 1991 that he officially made his feelings public when he banned the veggie from Air Force One and the White House kitchens. Facts 4. Americans really have a sweet tooth. That's why every second, 100 pounds of chocolate is consumed in the United States. That's an incredible amount of chocolate being eaten each and every second. Imagine how much chocolate we eat over the course of a single day, that's enough to make your head spin. Let's put it into perspective. 100 pounds of chocolate can fill up an average size swimming pool. That's a lot of deliciousness. And if you add up all the calories in a swimming pool full of chocolate, it would equate to about 4 million calories. Talk about indulgence. But don't worry, Americans still prioritize their health. We also eat healthy foods like fruits and vegetables every day too. So we are able to balance our consumption habits with moderation and variety, allowing us to enjoy our favorite treats guilt-free. Facts 5. Have you ever wondered what baby names are illegal in New Zealand? Well, you're in for a surprise. New Zealand has some pretty interesting laws when it comes to baby names and there are several that are strictly forbidden. For example, the names Lucifer, Christ and a Messiah can't be given to a newborn in New Zealand. This is because the Registrar of Births, Deaths and Marriages doesn't want any baby to be given a name that could be seen as offensive or blasphemous. In addition to these three names, New Zealand also forbids other unusual monikers like a royal titles, such as a king or a duke. Any name deemed too long is also not allowed, so forget about any 25 character long creations. And if your chosen name starts with a symbol or number then unfortunately it won't pass the test either. That concludes today's broadcast. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our informative content.